great sword wielded by the throne defender, unleash its true power to enwreath magic. The defender has stood by the throne for ages. Will his weight be worth the while? Well, this is the defender greatsword and also the defender shield. The shield is something that we've used for a while now, I just never really pointed it out because it's a boss weapon from one of the final bosses. Which you can fight, by the way, as soon as you actually have the King's Ring. But anyway, it's a greatsword and the shield, of course, but yeah, it has a basic greatsword moveset. It's not a unique moveset, except, well, if you press L1 or the left bumper, whatever it's called, that one button on the left hand side that would be a light attack or the block button. Yes, that's the one I'm looking for. And we got invaded from the looks of it, so... Yeah, let, let's just show off this unupgraded weapon that way, that should work out well. Especially if the buff wears off right as we... as we start. But yeah, should be fun. Uh, essentially, it's like every other greatsword, and which which makes it good in my book. Plus, the buff gives it uh, quite a bit of extra power. But you have to look out because the buff actually decreases the durability, as do all special abilities of weapons. And this is going reasonably well, considering that uh, this weapon is completely unupgraded and that guy's probably decked out in New Game Plus gear. He has to be about my level, maybe higher, maybe lower. But yeah, that went better than expected. I'm not too mad about this, considering that my weapon was completely unupgraded. small shield used by the throne watcher. Made from an old sacred chime, the watcher has stood by the throne for ages. Will his wishes be fulfilled? Well, we killed him, so I don't know if that was according to his wishes. But, uh, well, the greatsword is another greatsword with a weapon buff, which is great, of course, but the shield has a unique ability too, as opposed to the defender great shield, uh, sorry, shield, not a great shield. It actually will ring like a bell when hit by an attack that can be parried. And every other attack, well, uh, since it's a small shield, it'll probably just go right through and completely obliterate it, because, yeah, that, that's kind of how it goes. But yes, as we can see here, it's pretty decent weapon, even on what equals a new game plus 7 in this case. I mean, this shouldn't take us that many hits to kill one guy, but this weapon, as most weapons I showed off, are not upgraded. A bow created from the soul of Nashandra. The old one of the abyss was reborn in death, split into minuscule fragments, and spread across the land. The smallest of the pieces, sensing its own fragility, yearned what it lacked. So, this is the Bow of Wand. It has some lightning damage by default. So you could potentially upgrade it to lightning if you felt like it. This is not upgraded to lightning though, as you can see from the lack of Nikon in the lower left. Um, but it is upgraded to plus 5, and I think I'll be using it for the DLCs. Because, well, the crossbow just didn't really do this thing I wanted to do, but yeah. It's a bow, it does both things, it shoots arrows and all that. It's pretty decent. The Scythe of Wand is actually a Reaper type weapon, which we barely used at all. In fact, we did not use one for a single episode. The only one I showed off was the uh, Covetous Scythe, I think it's called. Or whatever the thing is called that you can make from the Covetous Demon Soul. It's not a very good weapon type, I have to say, but... It, it could be potentially good, I suppose. Like, this one does a lot of dark damage, which might make it a decent weapon choice. But overall, I'm not too sure, because it's really hard to hit that sweet spot with that weapon. Otherwise, it won't do very much damage. 
but it can't just ignore the block if you hit it right. And the last weapon is a catalyst actually, the Chime of Wand. It looks very unassuming, like most catalysts, so let's not linger on it for too long. But yeah, it's not upgraded, of course. But it goes to show that an upgraded uh, catalyst would do so much more. With our Black Witch stuff, we would just flat out kill those guys in one hit, no problem. Uh, with that spell and even with other spells, I suppose. Uh, the thing kind of is that it's a chime decent for both miracles and dark, but it's much better for dark. It has an S scaling in dark and an A scaling in lightning. And if you infuse with dark, it will have higher uh, dark damage than it would have lightning damage if you infused it with lightning. But look at this, we got invaded yet another time. Alright, no time to contemplate the weapon choice, so let's just stick with the guns that we know, shall we? Good old Black Knight Greatsword. And up there he is. So before he gets down, let's just quickly take out those guys. It should totally work out. You know, in retrospect, looking at the footage, I can actually see him jump down to the part where we can pick up the throwing knives, but... When I played this, I obviously didn't see it, otherwise that wouldn't have hit me. Yeah, he has kind of an interesting weapon loadout. Uh, we have a medium speed weapon, so to speak, and he has two fairly slow ones. A curved greatsword, like the one he's using in his uh, right hand from his point of view, left from a horse. It is actually slower than a regular greatsword. And the ultra greatsword he's using, well, it should be obvious that it's pretty slow. Though, thinking of it, it, it kind of looks like it might be the Moonlight Greatsword, to be honest, which makes it a Greatsword, technically. I can't really see it, though. But yeah, it's kind of cute how people just run when they notice they're about to lose. I bet he's hoping to go drink an Estus, which really is a bad strategy. Running is kind of... Unless you're fighting someone who will take the opportunity to heal for themselves, which is stupid, they they will just, you know, die by trying to heal. Like that guy. He, he could have run up the ladder, I suppose, but I would have caught him. But yeah, that's it. Those were the last boss weapons, at least for the main game. DLCs yet to come. I'm looking forward to it. See ya.